If you're looking to add some visual appeal to your WordPress website, you could consider embedding a YouTube playlist. But if you're not tech savvy, the process of embedding a YouTube video onto your WordPress website can seem a bit confusing. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you four different ways to embed a YouTube playlist on your WordPress website. So sit back, relax, and let's get started with the video. Starting with method number one, embedding a YouTube playlist using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. The plugin is the fastest, easiest, and most customizable way to embed a YouTube feed on your WordPress website. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you'll find your download link and license key inside your account. Then on your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top. Now you can upload the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro like this and click Install Now. Next, you can click on Activate Plugin. And once the plugin is installed on the left-hand side, you'll now notice YouTube Feed. Hover over it and go into Settings. Here beside License Key, you can enter your license key from smashballoon.com like this and click on Activate. And there we go, our license key is now activated and we can go create our YouTube playlist feed. On the left-hand side, under YouTube Feed, click on All Feeds. Then go and click on Add New at the top. With YouTube Feed Pro, you can create several different types of YouTube feeds. For example, we can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and more. For this video, we're creating a YouTube playlist feed. So let's select Playlist like this and click on Next. Now you'll have to enter your YouTube API key. I've got mine right here already, but if you want to find out how to create a YouTube API key for yourself, you can click on the top right of your screen right now to watch our video tutorial, or you can click on the link in the description for our step-by-step -step written tutorial. So I can paste my API key here like this and click on Add. And on this tip, we can go and paste the playlist ID for the YouTube playlist we want to display on our feed, like this, and click on Next. And now you can select from several different templates for the appearance of your YouTube feed. You have options like the default, carousel, cards, latest video, showcase carousel, and more. For this video, let's go with the cards template and click on Next. And almost instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our brand new YouTube playlist feed. And with YouTube Feed Pro, you can even customize your feed to really make it your own. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here, you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. As you can see currently, we have a grid layout, which shows all of our videos in rows and columns like this. Then we have the gallery layout, which highlights one specific video at the top with the rest of the videos from the playlist below. After that, we have the list layout, which shows all the videos in your playlist in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, where you can swipe through the videos in your playlist by clicking on the buttons like this. Once you're happy with your YouTube feed, click on Embed on the top right corner to start embedding it on your website. Copy the dedicated shortcode for your feed and click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your YouTube playlist feed to, like this, and click on Add. And now on your page, you have two different options to embed your YouTube playlist feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you copied earlier, like this, or you can use a dedicated YouTube feed block, like this to instantly embed your YouTube playlist feed inside your page. And there it is right there. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now on our live web page, you can find your new YouTube playlist feed that we just created in only a matter of minutes. If you click on one of these videos, they'll open up in this lightbox view and immediately start playing directly on your website. And now onto our second method, and that's embedding a YouTube playlist inside your website sidebar. Again, by using the YouTube Feed Pro plugin, you can create a beautiful playlist feed specifically for your sidebar. This time, while using a list layout, we can go and click on Embed once again. And instead of clicking on Add to a page here, we can go and click on Add to a widget instead. And now inside the WordPress widgets menu, we'll have to add it to the main sidebar. To embed this, you have the exact same options as embedding it to a regular web page. You can either copy and paste the shortcode into a shortcode block, or you can use our dedicated feeds for YouTube block like this. And back on our live web page, you will now have a YouTube playlist feed conveniently displayed inside the sidebar of your website. This allows you to showcase your YouTube playlist no matter what page on your website it may be. And at the bottom here, you'll see a load more button. And if you click on it, it will load even more videos from your YouTube playlist directly inside your sidebar. The third method to embed a YouTube playlist into your WordPress website is by using OMBits. This method lets you add a very basic version of your YouTube playlist on your website. Simply copy the playlist URL from YouTube and paste it directly inside your page or post editor. WordPress will then automatically fetch that playlist from YouTube and display it on your page. As I mentioned, this is a simple playlist with a menu to display all the videos inside that playlist. But if you want to customize it, change the layout or color scheme, you won't have any options to do so without manually tweaking the code or hiring an expensive developer to do it for you. And finally, the last method to embed a YouTube playlist feed is by using iframes. With this method on your YouTube playlist, click on the share button. Then you'll see a pop-up asking you where you want to share your playlist to. You can click on embed here. This will open a lightbox pop-up containing a video embed code. You can go ahead and click on copy to copy all of that code for you. Next, inside your page builder, we're using block editor for this example. 
Go and add a custom HTML block like this. Next, you can paste the code you copied inside the block. Now, when you click on Preview, you should see your new YouTube playlist embedded on your page. This is basically identical to the feed we created in the previous step. You can click on the button on the top right corner to view a menu of the videos in that playlist. Again, this YouTube playlist is quite limited and there aren't any easy ways to customize it. And those are our four methods to display a YouTube playlist on your WordPress website. Comment and let me know which of these methods you'll be trying out. If you want to check out the YouTube Feed Pro plugin and try out the demo, you can visit smashballoon.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching.